Hi, and welcome to Kit and Ann Do Portland, Kenton edition. So we are here in Kenton, North Portland, Oregon, in Kit's lovely home. Yeah, so Ann and I are both Airbnb hosts, and we decided it'd be fun to put together these kind of neighborhood guides for our guests, because they're always asking, like, what are some good bars and cafes and shops to check out? Um, so we wanted to put together something a little bit fun and interesting. And this is an opportunity for us to show off our favorite businesses in our neighborhoods. Yeah. Hope you like it. Let's look up places for coffee and breakfast this morning. Okay. C uh, Cup and Saucer Cafe. That's the hepatitis place. Let's do it. <laughs> Three and a half stars? Great. That's pretty high for hepatitis. What is hepatitis? Like, what would happen to us? Hepatitis. Symptoms. Oh, that's a gross one. Okay, let's get started on this day. Okay. Well, this took a weird turn. How far do we have to go? Uh, not very far. Five minutes. Cool. Let's do it. Yeah. Um, what was our first stop on our tour? So first stop was Posey's. We went for a walk from here to Posey's which is a nice little bakery, cafe. Look at this weird thing we got. Yeah, what is it? No one knows. Mm. So after Posey's, we hopped across the street to Swift and Union for some brunch. Yeah, okay, Swift and Union is a, it's a good brunch spot. It's also a really good happy hour spot. And what did we get? Uh, we got eggs benedict, like salmon benedict. <laughs> Get your face in so the mic. Knee. Oh, I just put my knee in a worm. Okay. What do you think about Swift and Union, Kit? I'd give it six beers out of seven. <laughs> but I would give it four eggs benedict <laughs> out of six. What happened? I got a wet shirt. I got a bad case of wet shirt on the bottom. Oh, God. Okay, what's next, Kit? This one. I found it. We're gonna go in there, give them our clothes, and we take theirs. Okay, start yeah. stripping, Kit. Here we go. Found some. Oh, good. Mantle has a lot of cool Portland brands, and the owner told us about the people that made the different products. That was really neat. She was super friendly. Presso is another coffee shop just down the street, and we got a a latte there. So you describe Presso to me as like super Instagram-y. Yeah, it's like if Instagram and Pinterest had a little barista baby. Kenton Station, it's much more open. It's kind of like a sports bar vibe a little bit. Like you could almost take a kid in there. Almost. <laughs> you I, I wouldn't. It's not even a beer, there's no alcohol. Yeah, it's a, a CBD infusion. And a beer. So, what do we see behind you, Kit? That's Paul. Paul Bunyan. Okay. Uh, he was one of the original founders of Kenton. He built Kenton. Did he? Yeah. Kit just told lies about Paul Bunyan because I think he doesn't know the story about Paul Bunyan or what I Kenton's I think you all about. know the true story no, of Paul Bunyan. He founded Kenton. Does. Was he the one with the apple seeds? That's Johnny Appleseed. <laughs> Kit, where are we going next? We're going to Prince. Prince Coffee. Cool, what My are they? favorite coffee shop in Kenton. Do you want to go in? I've had enough coffee. Yeah, me too. And then we need to do the proper Kenton night scene. Yeah. What's our night scene going to include? It's going to include the Kenton Club, world famous Kenton Club, Tavern on Denver, Dance and Bear. We could always throw Mock Crest in there, but I don't think we will. No, it's out of the way. Yeah, how are you feeling physically? Like, you holding up? If you were an Ace Benedict, how many would you be? Five. <laughs> cool. Here we are at the tiny bubble room, not to be confused with the regular size bubble room. We're going to get a shot and run. Let's get out of here. No problem. Have what? You have um, like lime on your nose or something. You have something. How the fuck? Did Here we are at Fino Pizzeria. How many pizzas out of five? 
Would you give Fino Pizzeria? Six. We went to Tavern on Denver after Fino's. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mixed feelings on that one. They have shuffleboard, so, you know, there's that's a plus. Here's what I'll say about Tavern on Denver. There are better dive bars in Kenton. Oh, yeah, it's, it's hard to recommend it. Here we are at the world famous Kenton Club. We've got dining, dancing, and lounge. <laughs> Which ones are you going to participate in? Uh, lounge and dancing. Dancing. I'm trying to get in the shot in my head. Here we are. Show more of me. I can't be hiding behind. <laughs> to what shall we cheers? Luke. Um, cheers. Oh, that's a really big shot. That's like three. You're gonna be fine. That was disgusting. <laughs> so we said we weren't gonna go to Mock Crest. We went to Mock Crest anyway. Thank God. Yeah, it's such a good spot. Yeah, I love Mock Crest. You can get pudding shots. Delicious. <laughs> they have a pretty good beer selection and it's kind of got like an old Portland vibe. Mock Crest is still in Kenton, but it's out um, west a little ways and we ended up catching a lift there. It's like a three minute drive. It might actually be my favorite bar in, in Kenton. And because we wanted to showcase a proper Kenton experience, we figured it wouldn't be that without featuring- The Dancing Bear. The Dancing Bear, which is a fun, strip club here in town. It is. What do you say about the Dancing Bear? God, what's the word for things that are famous but not for good reasons? Infamous. You can always find a seat at the Dancing Bear. Yes. So if you're looking for a very weird spot in Kenton, <laughs> give it a try. turns carrying each other home. How are we doing? We might not. Oh, your butt's slipping. Make it. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Ann, what's happening? And I dropped her, she fell. She took a took a little spill. That's a dick move. I you know, I don't know how much of it was me dropping you and how much of it was you giving up okay time to hop on pop <sighs> it's time for me to carry kit home yeah. yes. yes i tried we didn't get any further <laughs> didn't we? i tried oh, hi house hey we made it and i'm actually drinking sparkling water out of the can, although your edit makes it seem like I'm just chugging beers. Can you split this in half? Yeah. Yeah! Yeah! Yes! Oh my god! Are you okay? Are you hurt? That got out of hand. Okay, so the camera's rolling. Oh. Here we are. Um, hey guys. Tell them everything. Okay, scoot in. Okay. And look right at that thing. Oh, yeah, hi. Um, to sum up today. That's my cue. To sum up today, we had a good time. We had a great time. We went all over Kenton. Yeah, we did We Kenton. showed you everything. Okay, bye. Yeah, wow. I guess that was it. It was a really fun day. Yeah, I, I mean, we did this all for you. I hope you appreciate it, because, God, that was rough. I kind of want to do one for every neighborhood in Portland. Yeah, I think we, we should. Do you think we should? Well, yeah, let's definitely do my neighborhood next. Do you think anyone's going to want to watch this? <laughs>